What's up everyone and welcome back to the Owl's Nest. Today's video is going to be a Frankenstein video. I think I'm going to add a bunch of clips from previous hunts. I'm going to see what we're going to find today and just uh, maybe even some unboxings. I'm not sure. This video has probably been accumulated for a past month or so. What do you want? It's the coup. The raccoon. Filming here. You don't care. Really? This is where you want to be when Jesus comes back? Alright. You gotta go. Pops got to go. Scram. So I haven't made a video in a little while. I've accumulated some clips, but I haven't really done any actual filming or anything in a while. So I figured I would, you know, go out and try to maybe hit a couple, maybe hit the Dollar Tree, maybe some dollar stores. Uh, I, I don't know if you even know that I started collecting Hot Wheels, so I've been getting some Hot Wheels. I do have some in the collection. A pretty good size amount already. I'm only collecting JDM cars. I do like the 80s boxy cars, and then I also like lowriders. I want to do some sort of diorama with those types of cars in their own like different setting. But uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and see what we can find. Let's see what they got. First Dollar General. This is all they got. Like five cars. One nice little tip I have is if you look at the bottom, you can see all the names of the Hot Wheel cars. So you don't have to do much digging. Just look under here and see what you need. We are at Dollar General number two. We are looking for these cars. Yeah, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Oops. I think they have a neon speeder with this one, if I'm not mistaken. It's a neon speeder, but this is just a common one, I guess. Pretty cool, still, nonetheless. I'm not seeing anything that I need or want. That looks pretty cool. I like that chrome. Well, I did the little Hot Wheels trick. There is nothing here that I need. Nothing here really at all. Uh, this is from the new end case. That's about, that's about it. The only dump bin I see too. But I'll check around. Is this the treasure hunt? Nope. Of course not. It's not, but that's pretty cool looking. Dodge Viper. Got some more neon speeders in. Well, they have the Civic. Oh my God, we found one. Mighty K. Can't remember if that is the Cutlass or the Buick Regal. They kind of look similar. Uh, I just need that one. I don't need all those. But I'm definitely getting the K truck or the Mighty K. Alright, so what I have in front of me is Hot Wheels that I've accumulated within the past like month or so. I want to open this first box right here. It is from the USPS. So hopefully it's something pretty cool. I did get four Hot Wheels. I'm going to go run through them as quick as possible. I'm not really going to open any. This is one of my free ones. It is the Nissan Maximum Drift Car. Really freaking sweet. Look at that car. Looks pretty cool. Uh, this one is from the J case. The next one is a Subaru. Ooh, that one's kind of jacked up. You can kind of see the packaging. It's kind of kind of weird like. Maybe it's an error. Not really sure. It's a Subaru STI. Looks really cool in that bluish purplish color. Next one I got is a 83 Chevy Silverado. This one looks really freaking awesome. It looks pretty cool. I will, uh, I do have a few of these in the collection. I think this is one that I'm going to keep carded. Uh, I, I think I've bought three of them so far. 
Uh, one I want to open up and display. The other one I want to do a custom of, change the wheels. That looks really super sweet though. The last one from that box is a Honda Civic Custom. I've been trying to find this in, in Walmarts, Dollar Trees, Dollar Generals, any kind of store that sells Hot Wheels. I have not yet found it, but I did find it on Whatnot. And I think I paid like two bucks for it. So overpaid a little bit, but there we go right there. Very nice Honda Civic Custom. Next, we have this box right here. Oh, nice. Okay. Very, very cool. Uh, I did mention that I did get a K truck or a Mighty K. And there it is right there. Out of box. Really freaking sweet. Or out of packaging. Off card. There it is right there. Pretty cool. Just like the predecessor, we have the Mighty K in white. The white colorway. Let's go ahead and crack this one and see what we get. We've got two items in this package. And the first one is a 1980 El Camino, which looks really freaking sweet. There it is right there. This other one is my first Team Transport. And I am going to be opening this one. It is a Team Transport. And it has the uh, Nissan Silvia S15 on the back right there. Really freaking sweet. Spoiler alert, I did buy two of these. This one I bought... It was, I think I paid higher on this one than I did the other one. The other one I paid $15. I think this one was like $25. So, uh, and these are selling, these are selling on like eBay for $30 plus. Dollars. So I really got a good deal on both of them. But I did pay a little bit more on this one right there. That is really cool. You can kind of see the transport and the car. Go ahead and take a look at that last box and see what's inside. I did get a team transport, another one. And it's the same exact one. It's just. Another one. If you think I'm lying, there's one right there. There's the other one. So I'm definitely going to open one. I'm going to pick the best uh, or the worst uh, condition card. And whatever is the worst condition card, I will open that one. In that box, that we did get a 1976 Chevy Chevette, which looks really, really freaking cool. They do have a red edition that is completely black. I like the way this looks. It looks very kind of hardcore, right? It's going to go nicely with my 1970s and 80s like boxy trucks and cars. I, I, I like that mold. You have some in the wild hunts that I found. And let's go ahead and take a look at those really quick. Coming at you first is the Layin Lowrider, which says it in the name. It's a lowrider car. This one I did find in the wild after I'd purchased that. It is the uh, Honda Honda Civic Custom, pretty cool. We have the Mighty K again. This one is carded. This one is a Toyota Supra, which looks really freaking sweet. Pretty cool. I only have one of these. I did find it at a hobby store. They were selling them for three bucks. Usually Hot Wheels go for anywhere from like a dollar to two dollars. Keeping up with the lowrider theme, we do have a truck lowrider. Looks really freaking cool. Definitely going to be in the lowrider section of my Hot Wheels collection. We have a 1982 Toyota Supra, which looks pretty cool. They do have a super, uh, super treasure hunt of this. I uh, have not yet found any. I have zero supers in my collection, but there we go right there. Really freaking sweet. This is another one that was on my want list for the new case, and it is the, uh, what is it, the Honda Civic. Uh, the 73 Honda Civic Custom. Pretty cool. I really like that. I have the 84 Mustang SVO, which looks really, really freaking cool. 2008 Lancer Evolution. Really, really cool. There we go. Mitsubishi. Last but certainly not least, we do have a Nissan Silvia S15 right there. Liberty Walk, I do believe. Liberty Walk, yes, Liberty Walk. You can tell on the back fin, not fin, but the back bumper there. Uh, it's a Liberty Walk, pretty cool. Really glad to have this in the collection. Once again, I got this at that same hobby store, three bucks. Uh, probably got it at a steal, but uh, yeah, definitely keep in the collection. Really freaking cool. I really like Hot Wheels. I used to collect Hot Wheels when I was a whole lot younger and it just become an obsession once again. I really like the cars. Uh, some of the cars that I wish I had in my very own collection or that I could drive. It's pretty cool. But if I had to pick one out of every single one of these, I'd probably have to go with the Nissan Silvia S15 with the uh, Team Transport right there. It looks really freaking sweet. Pretty cool. So let me know which one you would pick. 
out of all these cars here that I've just shown you. Well, that's my time for now. I'd like to thank you for clicking and watching. Be sure to give this video a like, a comment, and a subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. And on behalf of the Owl's Nest, I will see you flock of collectors in the next one.